All right, I'm having to re-upload my UFC 195 predictions because I was doing it earlier and my camera just shut off because it's an antiquated piece of garbage. But anyway, UFC 195, I'm going to be very, very quick here because I don't really want to waste too much time with this thing just crash on me again. Uh, but yeah, Robbie Lawler versus Carlos Condit, a weird matchup in the year of our Lord uh, 2016. These guys are fighting for GSP's crown. Uh, just going to recap it. I mean, I can go by the stats, but who cares? Just want the quick picks. Uh, I'm going with Robbie Lawler in this one. I mean, if he can pound out, you know, uh, Rory McDonald in such a short amount of time. Uh, Carlos Condit, who's been plagued by injury, who's getting on there in age, and has really kind of struggled in some of his previous matchups. Shouldn't be really much of a problem for him. I'm going to give this one to uh, Lawler, third round TKO. Uh, Stipe Miocic, Andre Arlovsky, kind of the same deal. I mean, Arlovsky's won four fights in a row. He's looked really impressive. But Miocic, look at his stats, and you know you can look it up on your own. It's on Fight Metric, which is a great resource for all uh, MMA fans. Uh, he's got a little bit better striking statistics, and he's younger. I think he's just a shade faster, and he's going to end up clipping Arlovsky, which may be enough to put him in the heavyweight championship fray a little bit later on. So... There's that. So I'm going to go with uh, Miacek winning it by uh, second round uh, knockout. Okay, and just uh, the other five, three ma matches on the uh, main card. Albert Tumanoff taking on Lorenz Larkin. It's a welterweight matchup. Both these guys are up and comers. Uh, very similar stats all the way around. I'm trying to see if there's anything that's really jumping out at me. This is actually an evenly matched contest. Uh, strikes absorbed per minute favors Lorenz Larkin and uh, defense a little bit better for Larkin. Uh, takedown averages favors Tumanoff, but takedown accuracy leads towards Larkin, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, submission average is not really a factor. Uh, both these guys, uh, three fight win streak for Tumanoff, or four fight win streak for Tumanoff, uh, two fight win streak for Larkin. Uh, I just really like the striking uh, defense there, and I like the better takedown accuracy. I'm going to give it to Larkin in a uh, three-round unanimous decision. Okay, Diego Brandau taking on Brian Ortega. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Switch fighter, pretty comparable statistics. Uh, looks like uh, our uh, fella Brandau is eating more punches per fight. Also has far better takedown. He's got a 3.32 per fight. Uh, versus 0 0.95 for the other guy. Uh, better takedown defense. Yeah, I'm going to give this one to Brandau. I think he wins it by a late third round submission, which is kind of funny because uh, Ortega is kind of seen as the submission guy. He's averaging like three per uh, 15 minute fight. All right, and what else we got here? That's one, two, three. Okay, and our curtain jerker, Abel Trujillo taking on Tony Sims. Lot weight contest. Just very quickly here, very comp statistics. I uh, got a 5 11 height advantage for Sims. Uh, dead even on reach advantage. Strikes landed favoring uh, Trujillo by a lot. Striking accuracy, though, and strikes absorb per minute looks like Sims is the better defensive fighter. Um, well, apparently Tony Sims does not have any wrestling ability, though. 2.54 compared to 0.00 against his opponent, Trujillo. Uh, takedown accuracy. Well, this is a pretty interesting matchup because it looks like uh, Trujillo is the far better grappler, but Tony Sims is the far better striker. Uh, both these guys coming off losses. Uh, you know what? When you have a, a quasi-decent striker taking on a quasi-decent wrestler, you got to go with the wrestler. I think Trujillo just uh, wrestle Fs uh, the Sims fella for three rounds and gets a pretty boring unanimous decision victory. All right, and the rest of the card, very, very quickly here. Uh, I'm going to take Michael McDonald over Masanari Kanahara. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Kyle Noak over Alex Morano. I don't really know much about Justine Kish or Nina Arsenoff, so I'm going to go with Arsenoff. Uh, Drew Dauber against Scott Holtzman. I think Drew Dauber is the guy from uh, Say Anything, so he wins. Uh, Dustin Poirier taking on Joe Duffy. I'm going to go with Joe Duffy in an upset. Joe Soto taking on Michinori Tanaka in what sounds like a Bellator matchup. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Tanaka and uh, opening the foray and uh, getting everything going. Edgar Garcia, I'm going to take him in a win over Sheldon Westcott. So not exactly the most exciting way to kick off the 2016 MMA year. 
Um, but, you know, just for what it is, you know, could have some interesting outcomes. At least it's kind of be interesting, setting the tempo for the rest of the year. But overall, as far as New Year's shows go, this is actually one of the weaker I've seen in the last couple of years. But, you know, hopefully we're turning the corner and we'll have something a little bit more impressive in time for uh, Super Bowl season. All right, so that's it. That's my picks for uh, 195 to recap. Taking Lawler over Condit, Michik over Arlovsky. I'm going to go with uh, Larkin over Tumanoff, Brandau over Ortega, and Trujillo over Sims. All right, and I'll be seeing you at the cage. Good fight and good night, as uh, an old claymation character used to say. <laughs>